these two ingredients to your clove and rosemary water is a game changer it is going to speed up hair growth and grow your hair healthy long and thick this is something you should try and in this video i'm going to show you how i make it and how i use it i'm going to be explaining in details how to use it so make sure you watch this video till the end if this is something you would like to see then keep on watching please support me by liking this video and comment on it if you like it it is going to encourage the next person to like it as well and that will make the video get to a wider audience so without wasting your time let's get into the video proper as you already see from the video i have ginger and garlic added to my cloves and rosemary and i'm going to show you how to make it to eliminate the smell from ginger and garlic because we are not going to be washing this spray out of our hair keep on washing what i'm going to do is to just peel off the ginger and the garlic i'm going to peel the skin of the garlic and as for the ginger i'm just going to cut out the parts that are going bad just to keep it clean that is all you need to do for the garlic and after peeling everything off you just wash everything and cut it into a smaller pieces i finished washing them now so i'm going to be cutting them into a smaller pieces both the ginger and the garlic let me quickly take this time to say a very big thank you to all my subscribers both old and new subscribers and to my returning viewers i appreciate you so much thank you for always coming back to watch my videos and I, if you're seeing me for the first time thank you for stopping by if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and share with your loved ones and if you want to see more video like this subscribe and turn your notification bell on so you would be notified whenever i upload a new video now i'm done cutting everything to pieces i'm just going to transfer into a pan after transferring it into a pan i'm just going to add two cups of water if you've been watching my video you know this cup already i'm going to add two cups of water to know the measurement of everything i use please check the description box i'm going to list the measurements there after adding the water i'm just going to put it on fire to boil for about 5 to 10 minutes while that is boiling i'll go ahead and transfer my cloves and rosemary into a glass jar i always recommend that you use a glass jar for your mixture mostly if you are going to be soaking them for a long time now my ginger and garlic they are already boiling on fire so i'll just leave it for 10 minutes and then I'm, i'll turn off the heat and i'm going to leave it to cool down for a little while before i transfer it into the glass jar containing the cloves and rosemary so right here i'm transferring everything into the glass bottle containing the rosemary and the cloves i'm going to add both the garlic and ginger i brought earlier i'll transfer everything into the bottle and i'm going to leave this to sit for about 12 hours i'm making this in the evening so i just left it till the next day before i'll strain it boiling the ginger and the garlic will help you eliminate the smell right now it is the next day and it's time to strain actually this right here smells so good it is not smelling like ginger and garlic the smell is just like the normal cloves and rosemary smell so i'm just going to shake it together before i strain i'll be straining it into this my bowl i'll be using a cheese cloth to strain it you can use anything you can even use a, a strainer to do that so i'll just shake it a bit and then pour the water into the cheese cloth 
but if you feel after boiling it you you are not still okay with the smell but sincerely it is not smelling bad right now but if you're not comfortable with this smell right here i'll still show you what you could add to eliminate the smell totally so keep on washing after straining i'll transfer into my spray bottle at this time before transferring into the spray bottle you can decide to add any oil of your choice you can add olive oil almond oil johnson baby oil but as for me right now i'm not adding any oil here because i just want to use it that way and i also want to mention if you're making your clove and rosemary hairspray please don't use too much because these ingredients are really really potent using too much will cause harm to your hair so if you are not okay with the smell like i said earlier you can add any essential oil of your choice this tea tree essential oil has a very strong smell so you can just add few drops of it to the tea before you use it i mean to the cloves and rosemary hairspray but right here i'm using lavender oil and the tea tree oil i just added few drops of each of them and then i'm going to shake to combine so you use this three times a week and i'm going to be demonstrating how i use it on the first day and as i'm demonstrating it i'll be explaining how i use it for the remaining two times like i said earlier you use it three times a week and to preserve this you can put it in the fridge until you're done with it but if you feel your fridge is not cold enough or you are making it in a large quantity you can make them into a ice cube and keep them in the freezer you can make as much as you want and keep them in the freezer just bring it out anytime you want to use it on your hair defrost it and you are good to go i think if you are the type that don't have time to be making diys all the time you can just make it and keep in the fridge like these cloves and rosemary water just make them in large quantity make them into ice cubes and keep them in the fridge so how to use this is what i am demonstrating right here what i do is i spray it on my hair generously if you have been watching my video and you know about my weekly moisture routine then you might want to skip this part because it's almost the same but because i'll be explaining how i use it the other days so you just stick around and listen to how i use it for the remaining two times of the week after spraying it on my hair i massage it into my scalp and press it into my hair massage it into my scalp and press it into my hair and then i'll go in with this my scalp cream this is for my scalp and my edges i'm just going to massage that into my scalp i'm not using too much just very small quantity that's what i'm using i'll massage it all over my scalp and my edges and then i'll go in with oil you can use any oil of your choice but in this video i used my flaxseed oil and after i've used the oil i'm just going to use butter to seal in the moisture that is basically how i use it for the first day and when you're using all these products please don't use too much because too much of them is going to cause product buildups on your scalp so after that i just seal in with butter and that is it for the first day as for the second day i just spray the cloves and rosemary water generously on my hair i spray it from the root to the tips of my hair i just massage it in and then if my hair is still moisturized there will be no need for me to moisturize my hair i could just go in with the scalp and my edge cream just massage a little bit of it on my scalp and my edges then i may decide to add either oil to my hair and if i see that my hair is still very very moisturized i just pack it up and that will be all for the second day so right now i've finished attending to my scalp it's time to apply the butter to my hair as you can see the butter is not much so i'm just going to manage what i have left 
just take a little bit of it I apply from the roots of my hair to the tips of my hair massage it into my hair very well and after that I'll just twist or braid the hair in section and keep them away and then I'm going to repeat the same thing to the other side if you have any question please let me know in the comment section I will respond to you so I'm done explaining how I use it for the first and the second day and as for the third day I spray the rosemary and cloves water into my hair and then I repeat same thing I did the first day it is important that you really moisturize your hair after using cloves and rosemary water because they can dry out your hair if you don't moisturize it and with that i have come to the end of this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and share with your loved ones see you in my next one